In uh, this new episode of the IoT Show, we'll talk about leveraging our bags, the um, role-based access uh, control, onto the remote monitoring solution accelerators. And I have Jill Benner with me just to do that. We're on a roll. Hi everyone, this is the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivia, your host. Uh, today I have Jill Bender with me. Hi Jill. Hello. Hi. I'm good. So Jill, actually you came already on the show um, at the very beginning. We've been doing that for almost a year now. Um, and I don't even remember where you came for. But <laughs> <laughs> I think you came for remote monitoring mm -hmm. and talking about it. Now today, what you're going to talk about is RBAC, the remote, the role-based access control uh, and how it's, it's used in the, in the context of um, the remote monitoring solution accelerator, right? Mm -hmm. Well, let's get started from, from the beginning. What is our back? What is that role-based access control thing? Yeah, um, role-based access control is a feature that enables you to control who has access to which resources within your solution. Okay, so um, why is it that important? I can understand, like when it, when it comes to a, a uh, an application in the world mm -hmm. of business, right? You need to make sure that people access what they, the resources they can access. How is it that important in the context of an IT application and in context of the remote monitoring solution that we have? Yeah, within your IoT solution, RBAC helps you define and solve a certain set of problems, which mm -hmm. is who gets access to certain resources within your solution, okay. um, what level of access do they have, okay. and how do you enforce that access. Okay. And that's important so that you can um, make sure that within your solution, only people who have permissions to do an action are able to do that action. Okay, like the operator can only visualize data, for example, versus modifying you know, the list of devices or something like that, correct? Yeah, exactly. So um, let's think of a scenario mm -hmm. um, in the way that it's used um, where you have Contoso ice cream delivery. Okay. This is a delivery company. They have a fleet of ice cream trucks. Um, and they have different people working at this company that have mm -hmm. different needs. Uh -huh. So each truck has a set of sensors to monitor the temperature of your ice cream. Okay. The optimal delivery temperature is zero degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. That makes sure that your ice cream is going to get there, not going to be melted. It's going to be a perfect yep. texture. Okay. So as the owner of your business, you're very, it's very important to you that your product gets there mm -hmm. in a safe way. Yeah. Um, and you want to have permissions to be able to edit rules so that you get an alert whenever your ice cream truck is going Got above the, the required temperature. Mm -hmm. But as a driver, you still want to be able to monitor and see that data, okay. but maybe you shouldn't have access to be able to modify that rule. Yeah. Because then you could, you know, it's a hot day in the summer and you are tired of this alarm going off. Um, you don't want mm -hmm. somebody to have permission to, to modify that rule to, yep. to get rid of it when it's a very important rule yep. for Makes you. Sense. Makes sense. So what do you get out of the box when you deploy your remote monitoring solution accelerator, which is basically a, a let's say, vanilla uh, application that does remote monitoring of devices? What do yeah. you get in terms of our back? What kind of roles, what kind of settings can you, can you leverage? Yeah, so right out of the box, the person who did the deployment of the solution is the owner of that solution. And so they are given an admin role on the remote monitoring okay. solution. Mm -hmm. Everyone else who signs into your remote monitoring solution is given read-only access by default. Okay. Now, you might find this uh, confusing at first because you might not be seeing certain features that you would expect to see. Yeah. But that means that role-based access control is actually working exactly as intended. Okay. So I can show you um, an example okay, here. Let's, let's look at that. Okay, so before jumping into the demo, I was mm -hmm. wondering, uh, what is backing the RBAC infrastructure on, on remote monitoring? What are we using as a service that, that customers can leverage? We're using Azure Active Directory mm -hmm. in order to assign roles to an application with, within Azure. Okay, so when you deploy your remote monitoring solution into your Azure infrastructure, you can actually leverage the existing directory uh, that you have in AAD instance. Exactly, okay. so here you can see um, we have a variety of users assigned specific roles within this solution. Okay. Um, in this case, we've assigned a custom role called driver, which I'll show you how to create in a little okay. bit. Okay, okay, awesome. Well, let's look at that. How do you create that? How do you work with that? Yeah, so out, out of the box, as mm -hmm. an admin, um, you're able to do certain things within the remote monitoring solution, like manage device groups, uh, delete or edit a rule, create mm -hmm. rules, um, and let's go here to the read-only view. So here you can see the read-only view, you're still able to see the rules, but you're not able to modify that rule in uh, any way. Okay. So that's where if you are looking mm -hmm. at the solution and you're wondering, why am I not able to create this rule? Or I'm not able yep. to edit it. 
you, that's mm -hmm. when you know that you need to get certain permissions for Got your it. solution. Makes sense. That makes sense. You don't want to the operator to actually mess up with the configuration you set in terms of rules and so on. Makes sense. Yeah. Yep. So um, in order to create a custom role within the solution, mm -hmm. what you'll do is you'll you'll go to our auth service, and this is available on GitHub okay. within the remote monitoring services. Okay. Um, and this is where you can customize the microservices to your own needs for your company. Okay. So here we've added a driver role to okay. our application. Mm -hmm. We've added a custom ID, and we have unique IDs for different actions that you can do within the solution. Okay. So here we have update alarms for the driver role. Okay. This is so that our drivers can acknowledge an alarm and say, I'm on it. I'm going to make sure our ice cream isn't melting. Okay. Um, then what you want to do is go to whatever API endpoint, like update alarms, and make sure that you add the authorized tag within that service. Okay. So here we have patch for an alarm, mm -hmm. and you add the authorized tag with the update alarms ID. Got it. Okay. Finally, you want to go to your um, AAD application manifest. Mm -hmm. And this is this is where we're leveraging AAD to define roles. Okay. So we have these defined roles within your app manifest. Mm -hmm. And we've added a custom role for the driver here. Okay. We've given it a description and make sure that it's enabled. And now when you go to your solution for our driver role, you should be able to come to the maintenance page and modify an alert. Okay. So now when you go to close or acknowledge alert, the driver role is able to do that, but not able to do things like modify rules within mm, a solution. OK. Pretty straightforward. Everything integrated out of the box, basically, right? Yeah. OK. So that was that like nice intro, basically, of, of, of leveraging our back. The benefits mm -hmm. are to actually assign specific roles, mm -hmm. all of that customizable, thanks to the remote monitoring solution accelerator. Yeah. Where can people go to learn more? To learn more. To learn more, you can check out our documentation at docs.microsoft.com. The tool will tell you all the information that I told you just now uh, okay. with step-by-step -step, um, instructions on how to add users to specific roles within your solution. You can also check out our code on GitHub. OK, awesome. Thanks a lot, Jill. Yeah. Thanks for watching the IoT Show. And uh, go implement RBAC into your remote monitoring solution.